Los Bogus Sharp. Today's April 20th, 2022. And um, Monday night through Tuesday, we had a winter storm that hit us in our area. And the snow was so wet that it knocked down trees and branches and we lost power everywhere. My son lost power and he's in, in another couple towns over from me. And a tree in our yard fell over and hit the roof of our house. It didn't do any damage, but it's still it's still on the house. I called the electric company and they're busy fixing so many things that they haven't even gotten here yet. But our electric went back on. Um, and the trees were so heavy that they were actually bowed over, all right, touching the ground. And I have pictures that I'm going to put up throughout this to show you. Um, but in all that, I went inside and I was sitting there and I was praying and God gave me this poem, which is absolutely amazing. And then I got a word yesterday. This was, this was Tuesday. I got this in the morning and then I got a word later on in the day and I'm putting it out today because obviously the electric went on and off throughout the day yesterday. So, um, we come to you in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for leading us to all truth. Show us Holy Spirit who we are as the body of Christ. And we just rebuke everything that doesn't belong here in your world in Jesus' name. So listen to the listen to the every word that he says here. The last minutes of winter showing its face, so we can see it with all its grace. The trees, how they twinkle as the snow glitters on every branch. It shows how mankind has a chance to always see things through the eyes of the Father, like how nature makes sure it gives us a holler. As the trees bow down to worship the Maker, it reminds us that Jesus is the Creator. And even when winter shows its face in the spring, we can all still sing, for we know who is in control of it all, winter, spring, summer, and fall. As each flake touches the ground, Make sure you take a good look around and see the beauty in it all, even if a tree falls. The sparrows fly through the air and the father does care. So if he watches how the grass turns green, he's in control of everything in between. So never feel you are not safe. Make no mistake. The father has your back, even if you get attacked for no weapon formed Against you can prosper because he's got you. So sing a sweet melody for all eternity. And remember he came to set the captives free. That would be you and that would be me. And while I was getting this poem, as I was looking out, a whole bunch of sparrows started landing on the ground and jumping in the trees and everything all in my backyard as I was riding about about the sparrows and I, I don't think I've ever seen that but there was just a whole bunch of them and they were just jumping around it was after the, the storm was still kind of going on but it had subsided so I just wanted to add that in there too so the day went on and um waiting to get the tree the tree is actually leaning on the electric wires to our house and it has it like bowed down it's got it's getting pressure on it but it's on the roof, so it's kind of like didn't totally fall on. If it would have completely fell on without hitting the roof, it would have knocked the electric wires down. And we would have been out without electric till they got here. But then the Lord said this to me. There's a lot of things been going on here. And I'm going to read this and I'm going to share with you the things that I have been personally dealing with. Just to show you that God, God gives my life, all right, and Gary's life too representation of what's happening and what's going to happen. So I'll share a couple of things that have recently happened that are kind of like out of the ordinary in my area. Things are going to start ramping up on the earth and my people need to know they are not exempt from weather conditions, but I am with them. Your life, Lois, represents my body and you have a, you had a bomb threat, flood warnings, heavy snow bringing down trees and power outages, wind advisories, 
unusual snow that created a state of emergency in your area. It will escalate all over the earth and you will see droughts and food becoming hard to get because the supply chain will be broken from weather and financial struggles. My people, you must understand I love you and will see you through, but you must stop taking it personal when this is a battle between good and evil and I must pour down my wrath to show my disapproval and lead many to repentance. One soul that will go to hell is one too many. Can you see that? Look to me and I will show you the way each and every day. So do not dismay. I love you, your father, who art in heaven. And that's what he gave me. But I've had some really crazy things happen to me personally. I mean, I backed up and I hit that car and it was total humiliation for me because I didn't see the damage and I left. And of course the cops tracked me down. Um, then we had, our, our good friend was here and Gary and I were going to McDonald's to pick up lunch and he was up at the property in, in what we call the landing area, the building. And the whole town is getting blocked off. And we hear somebody say, yeah, they're going to be blocking off Main Street. Well, that's my friend's way to get out. And he was on his way to go home. So we went back there and we told him, you would need to get out right now. So as we're going through the town, I'm getting, you're going to get blocked, Lois. You're not going to be able to get back home right now. They're going to block you from coming back. Well, sure enough, we get him out. And he takes off. And we're now stuck. We can't get back through town to get back to our house. So... The cops there and I'm like, what's going on here? So the officer said, well, I don't want to panic anybody. I'm thinking, oh, that's great. What does that mean? The whole town's getting blocked off now. Okay. And he's not going to tell me why he says it's all over Facebook. I said, well, I'd like to know what's going on. He says, well, there's a suspicious package and we have called in the bomb squad. It's like, oh, that's lovely. That has never happened in this town. So Gary and I had to go the long way around and try to get back. So we went to the next town over and we ended up having some lunch. And then by the time we were ready to come back, they had found it and everything was okay. But that was very unusual for this area. Of course, then we had this major weather condition in the springtime with this heavy, heavy snow. I don't think I've ever seen a snow as heavy as I've seen in all my life that we just recently had. We had about, I don't know, maybe six, eight to 10 inches or 12 inches, something like that. Um, but it literally covered everything and it was so heavy. It just made trees just go right over to the ground and branches fell down everywhere. And the power, power outages is still going on. My son still does not have power yet. And we are still waiting for them to be able to fit us in to come and take this tree off the electric wires. And um, it's just crazy things going on. So he's warning us and telling us, all right, that these are going to be happening. Oh, we also had a major flood warning go happening, but that didn't take place yet. And now I have to worry about what's going to happen then when this all melts very quickly because the weather's getting warm and it's going to melt very rapidly and the river is already at the peak. The river is up to its level right now and flowing very high. So that's a major problem because it all rushes into the river and then it comes over the banks. So that's another thing we could be watching, uh, flood probably issues. So, I mean, we're not in the flood zone, so we're safe, but just things are happening. That's why we're building safe havens. Our safe haven is out of a flood zone. It's in a valley protected from a lot of the weather conditions that are going to take place. And we're going to have buildings that are going to withstand weather conditions. And we will have a place where we can go in for protection if we get some really heavy duty weather, that's why it's vital to be involved in these safe havens and get them built because without the people, they don't get done. And then what are we going to do when things happen? And we're meant to go there to them. We're not meant to go there yet. None of them are even ready. Um, things have to take place before that, but we are the body of Christ and we will be dealing with all this weather phenomena that's going on. A lot of people have had floods already. You've already been dealing with this stuff. Ice storms, destroying things. We've already been dealing with a lot of it, but it's going to ramp up. It's like birth pains. They ramp up until the baby's born. 
So that's what we're going to be dealing with. So we need to be prepared for it. And we need to not take it and get offended by it. I think, why God, why God? It is what it is. We're in the end times and we're going to see evil rise up. And we're going to see the power of God rise up. God's people are going to start getting it. Who we are and the power of the Holy Spirit that we walk with every day. Do you believe? Are you a believer? Because if you say you're a believer, then you should be walking in the power of the Holy Spirit on the earth, like Jesus did. Because that's what it means to be a believer. A believer is one who accepts Jesus as the Lord of his life, gets baptized in the Holy Spirit with the power and the fire and the evidence of the nine gifts operating in their lives. And we do the works that Jesus did. We destroy the works of the devil. That's what we do every day. We destroy the works of the devil through our prayer lives, through laying on of hands for the sick to recover. And what do we actually believe about that? Do you actually believe for healing for yourself? I don't mean hope. I'm talking about faith. Do you know that you're saved? Let's start with salvation. Do you know you're saved? A lot of you don't even know you're saved because you think you keep blowing it. And you say, well, I don't know if I'm even going to get into heaven. If you don't know you're getting into heaven, then you have not accepted the salvation message of Jesus. Because Jesus died for us, knowing we're sinners. And when we fall on our face, he's ready to forgive us. We have to walk the walk and stay on the straight and narrow. But if we fall and we falter somehow, we have to repent and then keep on going forward. Don't live in a life of guilt and, and stay in that. We've been given the power in the Holy Spirit to walk the walk with our Lord. It doesn't mean there's not a battle with the flesh because there is. But the more you walk in the Spirit, the more you overcome the flesh. So it's a learning process we go through. So salvation is believed in faith. The baptism of the Spirit is accepted in faith. The same way you get saved is the same way you open your heart and get baptized in the Holy Spirit. I pray for all of that now in the name of Jesus. For salvation for those that don't even know they're saved yet. To understand what it means. And baptize them, Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues like your word says. With the power and the fire, give them the boldness that they need. We're not to fear man. We're to fear God. And we're to reverence him as God. Therefore, we don't mess with him. And we don't just do what we want every day. We do what he wants us to do. We become his servants. And we get blessed because of it. And then he gives us the desires of our hearts. But not until you lay your life down. Because you'll just mess it up. And sometimes that takes years and years of us learning how to let go of ourselves and open up for his will, whatever that may be. So we are learning as we go through all this weather phenomena, all these trials and these tribulations, the earthquakes, the tsunamis, and all these things that are going to happen. When things get really serious on the earth, we will be in the safe havens, those that are going to go. Those that actually believe in it and those that are the bride. So we have to keep on moving forward, keep rebuking evil every day, and trust our Father with our lives and let him and understand that he loves us. He loves us. He gave up his only son to save us. So I'm Lois Fogel Sharp, and I'll be back when he sends me back again, and have a blessed day.